when I've been thinking about becoming world champion when I was younger, I'm thinking like, now you have done it, now you can just sit back and enjoy life, you know? That becoming a world champion gives you the privilege to go on vacations and just relax because now you are on the top level. But <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't the truth after all because now I just, I just want more. Last year, 400 meters hurdler Karsten Varholm went from unknown to world champion. Even in his home country, Norway, few people knew about the 22-year-old. In a list of Norway's most popular sports people, he went from number 100 in 2016 to number one in 2017. Karsten's rise to the top has been rapid. I think it's better that way, to go from 100 to 1, than going from 1 to 100. I, of course, enjoy being, being number 1, and, and I like that people acknowledge what I do. But, uh, but 100 is also kind of cool, as long as you're confident enough to, to know that you're going to do better next year. Aside from his own talent, one of the key factors in Carsten's development has been his coach. 61-year-old Life Olaf Alnes. They've been working together for the past three years. The duo's training headquarters are here in Oslo. Life is the best. Life is very humble, so he will never say the same about himself. But I wanted to meet him and ask Life if he wanted to train me and we got to know each other and he was thinking about it. He always says that he's an old man, he don't know if he wants to use his last years doing track and field. But uh, I managed to convince him and um, ever since that I feel like it's just been a great journey and uh, I don't know if he agrees but, uh, but I'm kind of happy. Oh, it's been fantastic. I feel extremely privileged to have been uh, part of it. And I'm so glad I said yes to the challenge. I knew actually quite a lot about him because he, he had um, more than 100 youth medals from uh, different youth championships. So, so I knew that uh, the Dean pool was good. He's uh, really clever to do the amount of work that is necessary. And uh, I would say he's uh, genetically very talented, but I would say the most special thing about him is from the, the neck and up, that the brain is really, really interesting. I'm really looking forward to the, the, the process that's uh, ahead of us. What goes up must come down, but uh, I think there is uh, a lot more to come. It's really uh, important to keep uh, attacking because that's what the sport, sport is about, the joy of it and also the challenges and we cherish that. Carson got his big breakthrough last year at the Diamond League meeting in front of his home fans in Oslo. In that race, he faced the reigning Olympic champion, Karen Clement of the United States. I never have huge expectations when it comes to where I place in the race but I often have extreme high expectations to myself when it comes to how good I can deliver and um, I wanted to run fast and I wanted to do my best and I know uh, when I do my best I often run fast. Coming down the home straight, one more flight to come. Capello finishing quickly, but Barholm's got this, but he hits the last one hard. He's going to hang on. Barholm wins it, 48-26. Another record. I managed to do a huge PB and a national record, and, and that was fantastic. And at the same time, I, I got a win. You know, I always try to put myself in, in attacking position because I never feel that I have anything to lose. I want to run a good race for myself and it doesn't matter who I, who I beat, but, uh, but uh, I want to run fast and that is what I train for. And, and beating people, of course, is a huge bonus, but uh, I don't get intimidated by, by names. Um, I just want to run. 
Later in the summer of 2017, Carson went to London for the World Championships. There in the English capital, he produced the performance of his life. He won Norway's first gold medal in athletics since 2009. The outcome couldn't have been better. I won the World Championships and um, that was beyond what I could expect. So the whole the whole London experience was very was very good for me. I um, I've I've never been in in the so-called bubble for for that a long time and and had three races that I needed to perform in in, in just one championship. So it was it was kind of hard, but but I learned a lot and um, and of course taking home a medal as well was extremely fun. Carsten ended his 2017 season at the Diamond League final in Zurich. And for the second time that summer, he posted a Norwegian record, this time as runner-up to Kyron McMaster. I was happy with the race, um, but, uh, but it, it can be better. And, and that, what I, that is what I like about my sport. It can always be better. I'm always happy when there is things to work with, because that's the sign of that I can improve. Until I get the world record, or I don't know if I will sometime, but that is what I'm working towards. Already in 2018, Carsten has lowered his Norwegian record three times, and his PB currently stands at 47.65 seconds. He'll certainly be the hot favourite for gold at the European Championships in Berlin this August. I don't know what I can do, and that's why I keep on training, because I want to see what I can do. And uh, 2018, I think will, I think that I can run even faster. But you don't have guarantees, and that's what, that's what makes our sport. So we'll just all have to wait and see, myself included. 